Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collective haul, things that I have been collecting over the past two and a half months. First, I'm gonna share with you guys things that I have been loving, and towards the end of the video, I'm gonna share things that haven't really worked out and that I'll be returning. And also, I'll include a tiny sneak peek of my makeover that will be going live after this video. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. And let's get started. I don't want to ramble too much. I just want to get into all the good stuff. First few items are going to be from McGee Co. Now, I know McGee Co. is expensive, but I have had a growing list of things that I have been wanting. So I decided to hold off on purchasing a lot of them until Black Friday. So when they had their sales, they had tiers of 30, 40, and 50% off. So the first item is something that I actually shared with you guys, and a lot of you purchased it, which... I'm glad you did because it was on sale for 30% off. It retails for $36 and with the sale, it was 25. So it is a utensil holder. This is a French style crock and a lot of crocs, this shape and design go for upwards of $300, $400. So when I saw this, I was a little hesitant because I thought the stripes would be orange, but they're not. They're brown and it is the perfect shade. You guys don't know, we started our kitchen remodel. So I've been collecting a lot of things for that and I'm excited to use this as a utensil holder. It's really cute and it's the perfect size. Next item is this little tiny dish and this retails for $6.99. And with their sale, I got it for less than $3, I think. And I use this for my garlic next to my stove top. I've gotten in the habit of having my garlic next to my stove because I use it so often. And I just wanted something cute to hold it. Again, we're doing our kitchen renovation. So I'm looking for cute um, curated items that will stand out in my kitchen. And I just really love this. Love the shape, the size of it. $6.99, you can't beat it. You can also use it as a little trinket dish. So cute. The next item was an absolute splurge and I went back and forth about getting this item, but I have been wanting it for so, so, so long. And I know a lot of you guys love it as well. This retails for $198 and with their sale, I got it for $136. I know still absolutely insane that I paid this much for it, but I love it so much. It is worth every penny to me and it is just so beautiful i love the shape i love the organic woven look to it the color is perfect the handles everything about it is just so pretty i absolutely love it does come with a glass vase inside to hold your stems which i did not know of and i think is great again i really love this if you've been wanting this i would really hold off on purchasing until you can get a sale on it because it is pretty pricey but so so worth it i love it next items i purchased this one is actually influenced by evelyn i see her use it all the time she'll place a candle on it and it just looks so pretty i think i am going to just leave this in my kitchen i think just having my soap dispensers on it will be really cute i'm just so excited about this kitchen and i think this will look great anywhere you can style it like evelyn does with her candles or in your kitchen the next item is a rectangular wood riser i also got this for my kitchen i already use it now i think it's great to also have my little garlic bowl on top with my olive oil dispenser vinegar whatever it's going to look so pretty and i wanted something that is really great material that's going to hold up. I wanted something that was really great quality to sit on my countertop. So this is really pretty and I do love it so much. Next item I picked up during their Black Friday sale was this vase and it is just absolutely huge. You guys, every time I order a large vase from them, it comes absolutely ginormous. It retails for $88 and with their sale, I got it for $66 and it is absolutely ginormous. I styled it with a plant as a planter holder and it looked really beautiful. I originally bought this for my island. We are extending the island, so I wanted something big, just a beautiful statement to hold some green stems in it. And I do really love this. I also convinced Kenzie and Evelyn to buy it. I was like, you guys have to get it, it's so good. And honestly, for the size, and it is so freaking heavy, $66 was a great deal. I was ready to spend the 88, but I held off because I knew Black Friday was coming. So 
we love her she's great so that's everything i purchased from megan co during black friday and because i made some splurges i had a good bit of reward points so i used 500 of my reward points and i also had a gift card that kenzie gifted me during christmas and i purchased this gardening tray and i just I don't know you guys I, I didn't love it it is just absolutely ginormous i did not think it was going to be this big i noticed some damages on it so i contacted customer service sent them pictures and they actually refunded me my gift card and my reward points so they told me to just keep it so i have it i still don't love it it's free now which makes me like it a little bit more but i just think it is way too big i do garden in the summer so maybe it'll just be it for that but i wanted something really pretty that would hold florals during the spring so because of my gift card and reward points being refunded to me i needed to use them of course and i purchased these candle holders these retail for 36 each they don't come together they are sold separately i just really wanted to have a set of two i do love this design this is a very popular design right now and it has been for the past year i do love do really love these they're heavy they look amazing styled on a coffee table or a console next is h&m home and i tend to forget that h&m has home decor i don't know why but it always just doesn't even cross my mind but since i've been looking for curated items items that i don't see people sharing often I have found some really great stuff that I love. First are these baskets. These baskets used to have the words toys on them, which is still really pretty if you want to style them in a playroom, but my kids tend to not play with their toys if they're in hidden storage like this, so there's no point of keeping the wording on them. But I love this shape, and one thing I forgot to mention in that video is these are sold separately. They're not sold together. This is a small and a medium. So make sure that when you're purchasing them, you are purchasing the two sizes if you're looking for this stacked look. I really do love these. Some more baskets that I also shared and you guys have been loving as well are these. This one, it comes in a small, medium, and large. This is the medium size, still pretty big, I feel like. The small would be really cute stacked on top if you're looking for that look also. These are Mickey & Co dupes. The McGee Co. ones have little handles, these don't, but it is still the same look. Next from H&M Home, and Evelyn shared this months ago, and I can't believe I missed it, but I love the shape, I love the color, and I also love the glazed look. I have a lot of vases that are matte, distressed, and I just don't have one that has this glazed look to it, so I'm not going to be painting it. I really love the shape and everything about it, this is really beautiful. I never pay at full price for H&M stuff because they always have sales. They just recently had a 20% off site-wide and I shared that on Instagram with you guys. Next, I have some pillow covers for you guys. And in my last video, I shared some Colin and Finn pillow covers that they gifted me, but I have purchased my own and I love them. They are also having a warehouse sale on all of their pillow covers and they're all 20% off right now. So if you love the covers that I've been sharing, definitely check them out. I wanted covers that I can use year round. And when I say year round, this is something I have to be really strict with myself on. I don't wanna be purchasing pillows every season. I am running out of space to store them and I'm sure you guys are as well and I'm just so over all the pillows so pillow covers are great I love pillow covers most of the great ones that I find on Amazon are usually solids never really printed or have great floral designs so the first one I picked up is this window pane one I love this one this is I think they're only one on their site that is double-sided and I just really love this color. Second one I picked up is probably their most expensive cover on their site. I see so many designers using this print and I love it. It works perfectly with other pillow covers that I have from them and it also pairs really well with this one. So. Yeah, I'm just really loving my designer inspired stuff and I am looking to elevate my home this year and I think these will do the trick. Next item is the one and only item I picked up from the Vintage Rug Shop. Now you guys, I don't tend to browse sites that I can't afford because what's the point? Like RH, Our House, all those sites, I, if I can't afford it, I'm not gonna browse it, and that's just how I am. Now this one actually retails for $26, which is not bad. I would have paid full price for it anyways. 
because I just really love the look of it. It is very heavy. I really love the finish on this and it is just so pretty. Next item I picked up is something that I was heavily influenced by all the influencers to pick it up. Just like you guys, I love watching YouTube. I love Instagram and following creators and seeing what everyone's loving. And these are the Amber Interiors inspired bells. So they come in a, they're so loud. They come in a set of three. This is the large, medium, and this is their small. So they are a little smaller than I thought they would be. They are from Lux B Co, I think is the company. They do retail for, I think, 60 or $66. In my opinion, it's a bit too much, even though it is a great dupe, I feel like, but just don't love the extremely rusty bells. I don't know, that's me, but I don't think I can return them. And since I have them, I'm gonna use them. I'm not absolutely obsessed with them. You don't absolutely need these. Don't feel pressure to buy those. They are just very basic in my opinion. Next items are from Olive Atelier. And you guys tell me all the time to go thrifting, to buy vintage. And let me just say that thrifting is not for everybody. It's definitely not for me. I thrifted books once. Brought them home, they smelled like cigarettes, left them outside, put them in my garage, tried to air them out, spray perfume all over them, and I could not get the stench out, and I absolutely hate that smell. And I just, I'm, I'm very sensitive to smell, so I'm sorry, it's just not for me. I try, but I cannot, I cannot do it. But Olive Atelier it sources vintage home decor from all over the world. And one that I picked up is this Chinese water pot it is absolutely everything i love all the details about it i love the color the handles the shape the size i rinsed it with water because it was extremely dusty and i freak out with stuff like that i want my home to be pretty clean and i don't know where this was so to have dust everywhere was just freaking me out but i love it another item i picked up from all of it today is this pillar candle holder and I just love how this looks. It is so beautiful. Everything about it is so pretty. I want a few more sizes to pair with it now because now I just have this lonely little guy by itself, but it is so pretty and Olive Atelier does online drops once a month. So if you're looking for these vintage items and these are actually vintage items, they're not vintage inspired. If you're looking for them, I will leave their link down below for you guys. You can sign up for their notification alert when their drop starts. Their drop lasts about, I think, three hours and things sell out in minutes. So if you want something, add it to your cart and check out and you will absolutely love them. Next item I picked up is something that went absolutely viral last year and it sold out. I could not get my hands on it is this Walmart planter. This is the viral $6 planter and you guys, it is everything. You can get your hands on it, $6, absolutely worth it. I love everything about it. And last is Target. So from my last video, you guys noticed that I have a crap ton of coffee table books. So one, I have a problem, a very sick obsession with coffee table books. I feel like they fix any decor problem. Some people don't like coffee table books. Some people don't like using a lot, but I love a console full of them. I just, I love that look. And some of you guys wanted to know how I collect so much. I started buying a book or two a month and that's how I started to really build my collection. And also Target often does sales on their books. So recently they had a buy two, get one free. And I was also able to combine that discount with a 15% off discount that they had on books, toys, and I think DVDs. So a free book plus 15% off, great deal. I picked up three books. One of them is Sunday Suppers, again, for my kitchen. Um, I just really love this book. I see everyone using it and I am not one to really follow recipes because I cook on a daily so I pretty much know how to cook. I don't really need cookbooks but I want to start learning new recipes and just exploring with different flavors and stuff. So another cookbook is the Kenfolk Table. I got this because I love the color. I'm just gonna be brutally honest. I love the color of it. It is so pretty. It looks like it's a linen, but it's not. And I I just love it. And last book I picked up is This Is Home. This is a stunning book to style with. Next item I picked up is something I actually painted. 
and I hope that no one gets mad or upset that I painted this, but it is the Hearth and Hand lamp from the spring collection. It was green, but I painted it and I love it just so much more, you guys. I am not a fan of the gray. That scared me. Those are the bells on my wreath. I need to take those off. When I'm buying a lamp, I want to make sure that it is something I can style for every season, that I can style in every room, and it is gonna work everywhere I put it. The last two items I picked up from Target from the Studio Me e Spring line. The first item is this travertine bowl, and I thought I would love this one, but I don't. In my opinion, I can find so much more beautiful bowls that are travertine at HomeGoods, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls. They have them all over their websites right now, all three sites. They have so many items that come in travertine and they look so beautiful. And I feel like the shape is very basic. Again, you can find more unique items that not everyone has or not everyone styles the same way from different stores. You can find them on Amazon, again, HomeGoods, CJ Maxx, everywhere. And yeah, I'm returning this one. I just don't love it. $25, you can find something for 25 or less that is so much more beautiful. The last item is a painting that I thought I was going to love and that I have tried to love. I tried styling it in a few areas in my home, but I just don't love it. I think it's very cheap and I think that from far away, you can't even see what it is that is painted. It just looks like thumbprints that you dipped in paint, in my opinion. And it's this one. I just don't love it, you guys. Go to Hobby Lobby. I think they have so much more beautiful stuff there. So I have been on the hunt for really great lamps. And there are two designer ones. I'll leave them on the screen for you guys. Two designer ones that I absolutely love, but they are over $300. Ouch. Oh my God. So expensive, but so beautiful. And I just want them. I want one of them so bad. And I'm going to hold off on that splurge for a while. But in the meantime, I found one at TJ Maxx and it is so pretty. I shared it with you guys on Instagram. It is this lamp. It is still available. I will have the link for you guys down below. It is huge. It's ceramic and the color is really beautiful. It comes with a light bulb. So that is all for my haul. I hope you guys loved everything that I picked up. If you are inspired to purchase anything and it is outside of your budget, do not feel pressure to buy anything. My motto this year is just purchasing quality over quantity. Over the past few years, I have just collected a really great collection and I feel like I have enough decor to where I can stop buying a lot of decor and buying great quality items, which is why I have so many of them now because I held off on purchasing a lot of them until I was able to get a great sale on them. Thank you for watching and spending time with me. If you're not subscribed already, please do comment down below your favorite items. And here is a sneak peek of my makeover.